This video is about the intersection between expectations, reality, and disappointment. So I think it's only appropriate that it's about Polaroid instant film and cameras. Pronto, SX-70 picture, magnifying glass, to show what sharp pictures Polaroid's low price little automatic can give you. With the new super clear SX-70 film, Pronto hands you beautiful locked in color that develops in minutes. It's light, but fully automatic, loaded with SX-70 features. Easiest camera Polaroid ever made. What do you say? It's clear, it's got to be Pronto! Pronto! Easiest camera Polaroid ever made. What do you say? Pronto! This is the SX-70 Pronto Rangefinder. This was part of the lower end SX-70 line that Polaroid was pursuing in the late 1970s for people that didn't want to splash out the money for the flagship SX-70, which was a very expensive camera at the time. Now the Polaroid Pronto Rangefinder should have been the perfect camera for me, but... <laughs> Uh, it has everything that I have on an instant camera checklist. It's manual focus. It has a rangefinder focusing mechanism, which I thought was absolutely fascinating for a Polaroid. I'm not interested in fixed focus cameras, especially when I'm paying over $2 a shot for the film. Uh, there's no reason to be doing that. It's like I have a Kodak Brownie. I will shoot that if I want a fixed focus lens. They were designed from the outset to run an external power pack. And I can prove that by showing you this and this. These are ports on the back of the camera that go directly to the positive and negative terminals that would normally feed off of the SX-70 film cartridge. And in this case, there is clearly an intent there for you to be able to plug an adapter into that and power it with an external battery pack. This is a great design. It's, it's a great idea if you could find one that worked. <laughs> So just a quick word about buying these cameras. Polaroid made these by the hundreds of thousands. These were a cheap consumer grade camera marketed at everybody. So they're not hard to find and they are not expensive. You shouldn't be paying more than about $20 for one of these things. For whatever reason, a lot of sellers on eBay are mislabeling Polaroid Pronto cameras as Polaroid Pronto RF cameras. Unless it has the rangefinder window, it is not an RF camera. Do not buy it. I mean, unless you want an even crappier version of the same camera, in which case fill your boots. But these Polaroid Pronto rangefinders are usually cheaper than a new pack of Polaroid film. I don't think I paid more than $20 for any of the ones I bought. And it turned out that was a waste of money anyway. <laughs> So where I ran into trouble was with the shutter design. So the shutter on these, it's a series of thin spring seal leaves that act together as both shutter and aperture control. I'm assuming it's because these cameras were so cheaply made. They were made to a very low price point. I think the materials used are a little bit different. Every one of these from this era that I have tested has rusted shutter leaves. And the problem I was having was everything was quote unquote working, but the shutter was not responding properly. And so I was underexposing every single picture. And at almost $3 a shot, that adds up really quickly and becomes really frustrating. And here's where we kind of get into the crux of this whole problem, which is I wasted a lot of money on this project. <laughs> um, had this actually worked, had I been able to, you know, get a functional Pronto RF, adapt it to an external power supply, you know, use my external flash, all of these accessories that I've got for the thing, uh, I still would have been shooting on really unreliable and I'm sorry, but underwhelming film. Uh, even out of my actual SX-70s, I'm having a lot of trouble with Polaroid film. Um, when it turns out, quote unquote, it's still not great. And you can chalk that up to operator error. You can go on and on about the ethereal dreamlike quality of the images or whatever other nonsense you need to do to justify this to yourselves. But the, the bottom line is that this isn't a good film stock anymore. Um, 
when my tiny little, you know, Fuji Instax mini child's toy is outperforming a tuned SX-70, there's a problem. Um, even the shots that have turned out, there have been, you know, a handful of shots that I'm actually quite proud of. Um, most of those have been on the black and white film, which is much sharper and much more reliable. And, uh, yeah, they're still not as good as the Polaroids that I remember seeing when I was a kid and the ones I shot at art school on the original film. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of a dead end as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one of the most difficult lessons I had to learn in art school and in every other pursuit that I've engaged in over the years is that failure is the road to success. Uh, if you're not failing, if you're not struggling, if you're not being frustrated constantly, you're not actually doing anything. Uh, it's a little bit like medication. If it has no side effects, it also has no effect. <laughs> you're getting nothing out of it. So, you know, I did spend a lot of time on this. I did spend a lot of money. I wasted a lot of pictures. I was really frustrated. I broke some stuff. And I still think it was worth it because I came out of this knowing that that time and energy will in the future be spent on Fuji Instax projects. That's the direction I'm probably going to head with this. But we'll see. I mean, you never know. It's really hard for me to walk away from a project. <laughs> so if I find a good deal on another Pronto rangefinder, I now have a lot of spare parts and I have some experience in tearing them apart. So I might have another go at it. Who knows? So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Keep making cool stuff and keep making stuff even if it isn't cool. Keep failing. Just keep doing things. That's what's important, not the end project. Like, comment, subscribe, all of those things that you're supposed to do that help me make more of these videos. And uh, see you next time.